one hand to the next. So I take this fill that I do. And then, again, I just want to wrap up and thank uh, my sponsors here, Love and Drums. Um, this is the uh, classic maple setup. And uh, 12, 14, and a 22-inch kick drum. It is available here at Pool Percussion. Zildjian Cymbals, thank you very much. Give it up for Zildjian Cymbals. Yes, yes. I tend to use dark crashes, so I use K-Darks. And uh, I use uh, a mixture. This is uh, a dark crash, 18-inch dark crash. 11-inch uh, uh, K-Custom Hybrid Splash and K-Custom Hybrid Crash. Uh, this is a K-Custom Special Dry. I am working on a light symbol with Zilzin, so be on the lookout for that. And um, hi-hats, I tend to use smaller hi-hats. These are 12-inch Remix hi-hats, but I tend to use uh, Master Sound hi-hats. And Remo, uh, Remo drum heads, give it up for Remo drum heads. Yes. I use coated emperors or vintage emperors, clear heads generally. I mean coated heads generally, but these are clears. These are clear emperors and they make the drums really, really speak. Well, as day two comes to a close, it was really, really fun being at Pool Percussion and hanging with Simon Mellish and his crew uh, here in Christchurch. Had a great time. Um, time to go get some food. Okay, I cannot come to Bournemouth and Christchurch and not eat at the famous Harry's Hardy Fish and Chips, Harry Ramsden's. Now this is the place for fish and chips. You want authenticity, you got it. This is the place, isn't that right Simon? The fish and chips is where it happens at this place, I'm telling you. This is the best place for fish and chips in all of Britain. Let's go eat. I'm hungry. I am all about battered muscles. All right, now look. If, if you come into the, to, to the UK, you, you better have yourself some fish and chips. Now, this is how it's done for real, all right? You gotta have the whole haddock, not codfish, you gotta have it haddock, all right? You gotta have the big old fries, all right? You gotta have them, them big chips. You can't have no little chips, right, Simon? No oh, little chips. No man. little chips in this country. You gotta have some big chips. And, then, and it's not complete without the mushy peas. Now, if you don't have mushy peas, you are not eating authentic fish and chips. Am I right, Simon? That is absolutely true. You gotta have fishy chip, mushy, yeah, mushy piece with your fish and chips. So here it is. So I'm out of here because I'm eating this stuff right now. Thanks everybody for checking in, and uh, I will see you from the road again on day three. Bye bye.